Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to block parameter tampering, or man-in-the-middle attacks, with Big IP Advanced WEF, F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 16 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit requests that include parameters that have been modified by a man in the middle attack. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all parameter tampering attempts and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. We'll start by accessing the DVWA web application and examining how a vulnerable parameter can be exploited by a man in the middle attack. We'll submit this text string into the form field. We'll use a utility called Burp Suite. Burp Suite enables a malicious user to examine and modify a request before sending it to the web server. After submitting the form, we can now view the request in Burp Suite. In this example, we're going to simulate that the parameter name button sign is actually a hidden price parameter. This is an example of a parameter that is defined on the web form, but should not be input or modified by users. Imagine if this parameter value was currently set to button sign equals 1999 and 99 cents, which is the correct cost of the laptop they are purchasing. Using Burp Suite. The malicious user can now modify the request by changing the parameter value. Clicking forward sends this request to the web server. The modified request was accepted by the web server. Examine the URL we're on. We need to add parameter tampering for the vulnerabilities. Slash XSSS URL. Let's examine the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. When we select the newest log entry, and then examine the body portion of the request, you can see that the value of the button sign parameter was successfully modified by the malicious user, and this modified value was forwarded to the web server. The malicious user just purchased a new laptop for only $10.99. We'll now protect the parameter. First, we'll look at the virtual server we were just using to access the web application. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 14B parameters security policy. Let's examine the Big IP Advanced WEF Parameters List page. Advanced WEF has already learned a few of the parameters used in this web application, including the button sign parameter. As a reminder, this is the parameter that we exploited by the parameter tampering attack. We'll select the parameter. And we'll then change the parameter value type to dynamic content value. And then click update. We're prompted to define an extraction property. An extraction is the exact file type and URL where the parameter value is defined in the web application. Remember that we need to protect the vulnerabilities slash XSSS URL. There is no file type associated with this URL. So we will use the noext file type. 
We'll then select HTTP. And then select the vulnerabilities slash XSSS URL. We'll click create for the extraction. Then update the parameter. And then apply the policy. Let's attempt the man in the middle attack again. We'll enter the text string again. And then modify the parameter value using burp suite. The parameter tampering attempt is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's try to submit this request again, without attempting a man in the middle attack. This parameter still allows requests that have not been tampered with. Let's examine the blocked request in the event log. The request was blocked because it violated the dynamic parameter value. The log file displays the parameter name and the modified value. Big IP Advanced WEF also displays details about this violation, including a description, the attack type, and the risk. And finally, the log file provides more details about this specific attack type. Thank you for watching this demonstration on blocking parameter tampering with F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos, and for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.